Congratulations for leader. Not that I can think of, but it shouldn't matter too badly for our very first game. Hello and welcome. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to my house. There are zombies outside. Oh no. Also, it's inexplicably winter. Mm. Uh oh. Thus the name. But it's 102 degrees. It's outside. so hot. We're in the middle of a very bad heat wave. It is the. The old calls are called summer. It is, it is, the, it is the meltiest uh, winter I've ever been a part of. Um, this is Dead of Winter. It's a co op ish uh, survival game where we will work together as survivors in the aftermath of a um, zombie apocalypse to survive uh, and overcome some sort of a crisis that has struck our miserable little wintry colony. Um, we've already done a whole lot of the setup. We haven't gone over a whole lot of the rules. I think we're just going to jump in as best we can and address things that can be done as they come up. Um, we have each already a number of survivors. Um, I have a truck driver and someone who is literally a Breaking Bad character. Um, we have a whole a whole motley mess of folks. Brandon, who are your two characters? We have uh, Carla Thompson, a police dispatcher, and Brandon Kane, no relation. Well, that would be the other way around. You're, of course, brothers with all other Brandons. <laughs> the, the janitor. Yes. Nice. Uh, here, over here, we have Talia Jones, the fortune teller, and James Myers, the psychiatrist. Excellent, excellent. I have John Price, the student, and Forrest Plum, the mall Santa. I th Plum? <laughs> Plum. Isn't that... Um, Professor Plum. Yeah, exactly. Um, OBS seems to have frozen. No. Oh, no. Wait. Um, but the stream is still working? Looks good. Mm. It's, um, it's winter on the internet. Yeah, we froze the to winter. death. The winter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're still showing up okay there. Um, stream, can you hear us? Okay. Oh, wait, no, it just came back. Okay, well. Um, Hello, stream. The zombie apocalypse, <laughs> much, lice, much lice twitch, is mysterious. I'm sorry for the words that come out of my mouth. Um, so we're going to work together to overcome sort of an overall problem that we have to face. Um, there are different variants of the game. The base version actually has us uh, using secret objective cards with the possibility of a traitor in our midst. We're all still learning the game and we've never played before, so we're just going to play the base scenario completely cooperatively. Although we will play it a little bit harder than ordinarily because we all know that we can trust each other. Um, in order to overcome what it is that we're doing, we're going to go through a round, round broken up into player turns and then the colony phase. If you remember Elder Chore, the colony phase is a little bit like the mythos phase. Yeah, we're going to do player yeah. turns where we can do things. And then the colony phase is basically when everything goes to hell and we resolve <laughs> the things that have been globally happening. Um, when it is uh, our turn, what it is we're going to do is we're going to reveal a minor crisis that we need to deal with, not the overall objective, but something that will damage the colony in the long term if we don't take care of it. We roll our dice, uh, and then we um, begin taking our turns in order. I will go first, simply because I have the rule book and have read it before. <laughs> um, everyone gets, we can go ahead and open up the dice bag, everyone gets three dice. You get one die automatically then one for each survivor you control. Everyone starts with two dice automatically, so we each get three to begin with. Um, let's talk about our objective. We're starting with the recommended first objective, which is called, we need more samples. Um, we need more samples, as I've said, is the name of this. <laughs> Set up, morale starts at six, round order starts at five. Um, so, much like Eldritch Horror, we have some sort of built-in um, game over conditions. If morale reaches zero, the game immediately ends. If the round marker goes to zero, the game immediately ends. We need to keep track of how much time we have left and how the morale of the colony is doing. Various things can make uh, morale go up or down, very frequently down. Um, most notably, if any of the uh, survivors die, we will automatically lose one point of morale. Uh, the other thing is add three zombies to all non-colony locations. Uh, we have one zombie in each place. Go ahead and open up the zombie bag and add more zombies. Zombies get placed on these biohazard symbols. Is this a total of three? Add three zombies to all non-colony locations, yes. So I believe each location gets three Zambas. So almost all of them are going to be maxed. Pretty crazy. Hmm. 
Well, there's a reason we're in a barricade, I guess. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Is this made by Elder Tour people? It is not. Okay. No, this is built by uh, Plaid Hat Games. Um, man, that does seem like a lot of zombies, though. Yeah. Maybe we should double check that. Mm -hmm. Let's just double check it really fast. But the other side, so the easier version is one zombie to all non locations. It's a non pretty big jump. locations. <laughs> it is a pretty big jump. Well, I'll tell you what. We could do the easier version. Well, that's not a hard one. We'll see how bad bad yeah, gets. Okay. The worst well, thing that happened is we all die. Yes, yeah. that's absolutely something that could happen. And may. Uh, okay. Well, there's a good reason for there being a lot of zombies, and that's because our objective uh, has to do uniquely with killing zombies. Victory is achieved uh, in the following way. Every time a zombie is killed, roll a die. If the die result is four or higher, add a zombie token to this objective. Accumulate four zombies on this main objective for each player that started the game. Ooh. That's a lot of Zambos. 16? Yeah, yes. We have to kill almost all of them. In fact, there's one less than we need. No, I'm sorry. There's two well, more. Well, don't, we don't you worry. We're going to get some more Zambos. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we do a thing if we uh, succeed. So, by the end of the game, we need to murder us a ton of Zambos. Hmm. <clears throat> Gosh almighty, that's that's a lot. Uh, okay, so the way that this starts off is we begin with the player turns phase. Uh, with, oh, excuse me. Um, so each of these locations got uh, a uh, bunch of Zambas. We start at the colony, and you can go freely from one location to another. Um, on your turn, you can move either of your uh, survivors once. However... Whenever you move, or whenever you fight a zombo, you have to roll the exposure dice. It's wintry, there's lots of zombies outside, you don't have, you know, a biohazard suit or a suit of armor or something like that to Santa suit. protect you. Do have, it's kind of it's kind of mangled. It it's uh, yeah. provides only the slightest bits of, uh, of protection. But you have to roll the exposure dice, what uh, shut up and sit down, shut down, shut up and sit down calls the meanest die in all of board games. It's 12-sided. Many of the sides are completely blank. That's fine. Some sides have this sort of little teardrop skull. That means you get a wound. Three wounds and your character dies. Some sides have this little snowflake skull. That means you have frostbite. That means you get a frostbite wound, which counts as a wound, and then at the start of your next turn you get another wound think that's bad, you can also get the bite symbol, represented by this little tooth. If you get that, the survivor dies. <laughs> well, It just dies. But then, any other survivors in that location may also die as the bite spreads. We'll get to that if it happens. It's nuts. It is absolutely crazy. It's crazy, absolutely. But, um, assuming that morale hasn't hit zero, if you lose your survivors, you can draw a new survivor and continue playing with that survivor. You can also find more survivors as we explore. I'll get to exploring and uh, looking for things in just a bit. But, know that you can move freely from location to location to go fight the zombies that threaten us so badly. Uh, we're going to begin uh, the player turns phase by revealing a crisis! Brandon, this is the crisis deck. Please reveal and read the top card of the deck. Overpopulation. Oh, that's for sure. We'll help that. The um, trash that, like a can, equal to the number of non-exiled players. That means food. Food. Yes. And that goes on top of the deck. Uh, Anything else? It says if we fail, we kill two non-exiled survivors with the lowest influence. Oh goodness! Okay. That might be both. It might oh, no, be. No, Santa's gone Santa first. will probably die. Uh -oh. So, there are a couple of things going on here. One thing that we have to know is that anyone that is still at the colony at the end of the turn needs to eat. If you're out, out in the other locations, you're assumed to be scrounging for food on your own. You know, you bust open a vending machine, grab some old Fritos or something like that. But if you're here, yeah, you just go to the Whataburger that's still in operation. Hey, 24-7. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> um, but if someone is at the colony, the colony was depleted of its own resources 
some time ago, which means we've got to find beans and bring them back for the survivors at the colony to eat. But what we need is we need, in the food supply, number of food items equal to half of the colony present survivors rounded up. So let's say that for whatever reason, none of these characters moved. Why do we only have seven? There should be oh, a... Oh, my student, sorry. Your student starts some... Oh, yes, okay. No. I thought your student had already been eaten by mall Santa. <laughs> if for whatever reason none of us moved, then we would need four things there in the middle. Um, if we didn't have four, then what we would do is we wouldn't take any of them out, but instead we would add a starvation token, which are also in the food icon pile. And then we would reduce morale for the number of starvation tokens that are in the food supply. So we would reduce it by one that time. But if it happened again, we'd add another one and then reduce it by two, and so on and so forth. Bad. But, in addition, we need to take care of this crisis, because if we don't, something bad will happen there. Now, the way that you uh, take care of a crisis is you take an item card, each of which uh, you will find in your hand. We each have five starting oh, items. Hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. They're right in front of you. They've oh, been inside of you the whole time. Wonderful. So... This crisis says we need four food in order to succeed. That means that between the four of us, we need to contribute enough cards to total up four uh, food cans. Now, a lot of these cards have icons on them. They have uh, indications of what it is that you're supposed to do. For example, this is the basic card. This is food one. It has one of the icons that we're looking for. If this was food two, there are some food two cards allow you to get more food for the food supply. Um, it would still probably only have the one icon here, which means if I contribute it to the crisis instead of the food supply, it'd only count for one. Um, so, on my turn, or actually on your turn too, you can play any number of cards that you have in your hand, which is to say you can spend all the cards that you have if you feel like they'll contribute in some way. Um, either sending them to wherever it says uh, to uh, send them in their description. For example, this says, put this in the waste pile, by which I mean you guess you're grabbing the cardboard box that the can of beans was packaged in. Thanks, Amazon Prime. <laughs> Pulling out the can of beans, I'd put an icon here in the food supply, and then I'd put the cardboard box over here in the waste pile. Waste, as was pointed out earlier, is bad. For any 10 uh, cards we have in the waste pile, we lose a point of morale. Thankfully, you can uh, use one of your die in order to clean out three cards from the waste pile. I'll get to die actions in just a moment. But anyway, you can use these cards to generate food supply, or you can play them face down in the crisis contribution pile. You're not allowed to tell anyone what it is that you've put there. You can put as many cards as you want in there. However, once we resolve the crisis after everyone's turn has been taken, we need four icons according to this uh, tile that match up with what it's provided. <clears throat> and if there's anything else in there that's not that, and that subtracts one from each of the icons that we've accumulated. Mm -hmm. So let's say that there were three, or let's <laughs> say that someone that we had somehow managed five cards, someone contributes two. And we get four food icons. Great, that's what we needed. But one of them is fuel. Well, that deducts one from the f uh, food that we've accumulated. In our hunger, we're not skilled enough to separate the gasoline. <laughs> exactly. No, food. we're <laughs> desperate. We are absolutely desperate. Um, we're not playing with traitors or secret objectives this round, uh, this game. So hopefully there's no uh, reason for that kind of shenanigans <laughs> this game, but we'll see. Uh, what else? What else is important to know? Um, uh, do, 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 do. So let's talk about actions. Now that we have revealed the crisis, we know what it is that we need to do. We need to prepare for our turns. The way that we do that was we roll all three of our dice. We all do it at the exact same time. Oh, interesting. Yes. And then, keeping the results face up, you put them over in your unused action dice area. So there are a bunch of actions that you can take. Some of them require you to have die results of a certain amount. Others don't. Um, the ones that require a specific uh, amount on your card are attacking and searching. Each of your survivors has a value on the uh, card. If I wanted, for example, to take my truck driver somewhere and fight, I would need a result equal to his fight value or higher. He has a 3, I have a 5, 5, and a 4, so I can spend any of those on an attack. 
Um, likewise, if I wanted them to search, I would need a three plus. Again, I could use those uh, for searching. Um, fighting works like this. If I took him and moved him onto one of the free spaces on the gas station, I could use one of my fights, moving it over to the other corner to represent that it's moved, and he just immediately defeats a zombie. However, defeating a zombie requires you to roll the exposure die. So moving there would require exposure yes. die and fighting. Absolutely. What is the danger in there being additional zombies that he didn't kill there? Uh, that's a good question. I don't think that being near zombies um, necessarily means that you're in immediate danger. However, if you need to place zombies in a place and you can't, then they overrun and they kill the survivor with the uh, least amount of influence just automatically. In that place or everywhere? In or, that place. Okay. Yeah. Um, so for each zombie that you would need to place, you'd kill a survivor that's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's already um, cool. So let's say I had killed that one. Another thing that you can do, spending any of your action die, it doesn't matter what the result is, you can build a barricade. Barricades basically cancel out a zombie. Um, if there were n a barricade there and um, none on these two, an arriving zombie would still arrive there. But if there were two and I needed to add a third, then instead I'd remove the barricade. It's kind of like the quarantine marker uh, from a yeah. uh, pandemic. Yeah. Um, searching works like this. If I wanted to search, I would, like I mentioned, spend a die uh, of the requisite value in that area. And then on the deck that's present there, I would do, 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 draw one from the item deck. Then, once I've drawn it, I can add it and put it in my hand, or I can add a noise token to that space, representing that I want to keep looking. Um, <laughs> then you can draw additional cards as long as there are empty spaces for noise tokens that you want to place there. So I place another noise token, I draw another card. I could, if I want, keep keep rolling the dice, or not rolling the dice, but yeah. you know what I mean. Making yeah. noise. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Making as much noise as I wanted. Um, then, you don't get to keep every single one of those, I think. Um, you, no, excuse me. Um, must keep one of the drawn cards, adding them to their hand, placing the rest on the bottom of the deck. May search multiple times with the same survivor in a single turn. So, yes, you can keep looking for cards, but you can only get to keep one per search. Um, what else, what else, what else? You can spend an action if you're at the colony. Um, if you have a survivor at the colony, that is, you can spend one of your dice to remove three cards from the waste pile. So we uh, manage our uh, uh, that business. You can also perform the attract action, if that's a thing that you want to do. You can run outside and wave your arms and scream. <laughs> Um, choose a survivor you control, spend an action die of any result to move two zombies from any location to empty entrance spaces at the chosen survivor's location. Um, or, finally, you can use the special ability on your card. Usually it'll say once per round, or spend a die, or something like that. Or it'll restrict you to a specific area. But as long as you meet those criteria, you can do it as many times as you want. Does that require an action if it's your card ability? It should say on the... Uh, okay, it should yes. say. If it's an action, it'll say it has an action. Exactly, okay. yes. Cool. Um, yeah. Most particularly, it'll have a number there. So, for example, I have um, colony 1+. plus. That means I have to do it at the colony. And it needs a 1 plus die. Which is any, any die, die, thankfully. Really. Yeah. But it is. it does mean I need an action die. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So your action die or your action count, too. Uh, yes, except there are some actions that you can that don't require yeah, a die. Yeah, like a whole bunch of. Them For example, any of your cards moving, but you can only do that once. Yeah. Um, you can also spend food tokens if you want. That doesn't require anything. So let's say I really wanted to do something, but one of my die was just shy of what it is that I wanted to do. I could grab something from the food supply, crack open that can of beans, and pound it oh. down, <clears throat> and I can increase my die result by one for each food token that I take. That seems greedy. It is greedy. It's very greedy, but sometimes you just need that's, those beans. That's two people's worth of food. <laughs> I, they're good beans, Brent. They better be. It's the only food we're eating, apparently. Well, let me tell you what. Maybe we'll find some other cards in there. Um, you can also uh, exchange cards between uh, survivors uh, that are at the same place. You can hand off equipped items. 
Um, you can also vote to exile people. Um, hopefully we won't need to do that this game because we're all on the same team. Mm -hmm. We're all we'll work together and prevent um, death, but we'll see just how well that goes. Uh, questions so far? Mm. Oh, there was something on here that said read something when we start. Read something when we start or yeah, when we win? A, uh, at the start of the game, read section M10 on page 17. Excellent, so, excellent. Story That's, intro, I guess. So, actually, there's a fair bit of story hidden throughout this thing. We won't spend most of the game reading it, but it is fun. Herbie, why don't you take a crack at entry M10? Right. We need more samples. We do. We need more samples. January. That 25th. was it. That's the whole thing. Thank yeah, you, Herbie. Thanks. Right thanks very much. All right. January 25th. As if the colony needed to smell even worse. Now we're storing corpses in the sheds where we once kept our plentiful food stores. God, what I wouldn't give to taste a carrot again. You know who has on her bossy boots once more. I didn't like doctors before the world ended, and I don't like them now. She, has, she says studying the bodies might help her identify how to stop the plague. Yeah, right. Better to spend time figuring out the quickest, cheapest way to commit suicide. But whatever. Everyone else is excited to help. Maybe that's the real value of this little project. All this research, air quotes included in original, will do is tell us what we already know. The dead come back and they try to eat you. whoop de freaking do Still, if Her Royal Highness does come up with a cure, I'd better be first in line to get it. <laughs> wow. Excellent. Is that your character? One of your characters? I, it doesn't <laughs> sound like what either of them would say, really. I mean, it's like, my interest should probably be a little more scientific than that, and the fortune teller... I don't know. Maybe that could be a student. Yeah, that sounds like the student. <laughs> okay, so um, this goes back in here. Is there any limit to the number of cards you can have? I don't think so. Polo. Polo is the limit to the number of cards you can have. Yes, you'll eat them if you have too many. That's how you'll find out. So they show you what you can loot in the places? Yes, absolutely. So the leftmost is the most likely thing uh -huh. to get. Weapons. So if you're looking for food, maybe a place that has food, like leftmost is the place to go. I don't see gun anywhere. Oh, I see, okay, gas station. Yeah, the gun Second place. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What is the head? Well, I mean, the, uh, the head is survivors. Storage, you have, like, oh. So you can <laughs> find... <laughs> yes. You can find you other player characters, which oh. get added to your posse. But you can also find helpless survivors, which are basically just more mouths to feed that get added to the colony, making the food supply that much more difficult to, to fill up. So I'll go ahead and go first, just to kick things off. Um, Quickie, though. It does say remember yes. at the beginning of your turn. Oh, yeah. Good call. So it's the beginning of my turn, which means we're going to draw a card from the Crossroads deck. Lobos, you're going to get this Crossroads card. These work a lot like the event cards from Eldritch, where there's going to be a thing, and then probably a choice <laughs> ah, of some kind, yes, maybe that options. I have to make, or maybe that we have to make as a group. Right. Now, there's a trigger at the very top in italicized text. You want yep. to read that, and just keep that to yourself, unless it's already happening. Like, if there's a, if the current player is in the colony, or the play, current player goes somewhere. Don't tell me what it is. Just keep it in store for whether or not it happens. But then, if it does happen, we'll stop the action and you'll read your card. Does that make sense? Uh, Here, for example. The only thing is it, it's, it has a colon. Like, Herbie, take a look. Prefacing the paragraph that I'm about to read. Uh, well, the condition doesn't seem to be met. <laughs> yeah, the condition's not met. So then nothing happens? Nothing happens. And okay. there's a good chance it might not happen at all. In which case, it simply right. goes to the bottom of the deck. Okay. Well, it, it, could happen. it could happen during my turn. For oh, example, it yeah. could... Yeah, things could change. Exactly. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Ran random events. That's what's oh, happening boy. here. And this yes. only lasts for this turn? This turn, okay. yes. But there's a ton of them, so okay. we'll probably see a number of them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, uh, just to catch everyone up, uh, Rod Miller, the truck driver, uh, is my group leader, and then um, not Walter White is my uh, <laughs> second guy. He can... So Rod is cool in that he just has a truck, which means he can go places uh, without rolling for exposure. That's oh, pretty great. That's, that's nice. pretty yeah. awesome. Yes. That's a good one. Um, Edward White uh, can, if he's in the colony with an action die, um, when performing an attack, play a medicine card to kill three zombies instead of one. 
do not roll for exposure. That's great, right? Except I can only do it at the colony. Mm -hmm. So that's when the attract action might come. It in. could be. It could be pretty uh, worthwhile. Um, I'm going to keep him there for now. Um, I do have the capability to use that ability. Capability to use that ability. I am a, <laughs> I'm a poet, and I didn't even think I was a poet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do my part for the crisis, if you grok my meaning. And then I'm going to play a food one card, adding this to the waste pile. And then if you could fetch a can of beans, so we get one there. Um, Edward is going to hang tight. Um, and then I'm going to move Rod. Rod is going to move... Mm, what do we think? We need... Food mostly, right? And but also means, zombies. Which means kill dudes. Yeah. Which means um, weapons. Oh, we need weapons. Uh, we super yeah, need weapons. This character there because they get to search twice. Okay. Um, here is what I'll do then. He will drive to the police station. Me. Yes. Or it's more of a. Uh, uh. <laughs> True. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Polo. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't need to roll for um, uh, exposure because he arrived in a sweet, sweet semi. Um, but then I'm going to shoot some Zambas. So I'm going to move one of my action die over and just kill it with my truck. Uh, the Zambo is dead. Let me get another die. Um, Brandon, remind me what it is that we do for our objective. Um, each, every time a zombie is killed, roll a die. Here I go. Two. If the result is four or higher, then... Okay. The Zambo took. Yes. Well, to be fair, a truck driver doesn't have a lot of training in collecting samples. So get the hang. <laughs> no, but I do roll the exposure die. Let's see if I just immediately get murdered. Nope. I don't. Ooh. Nothing happens. Nice. All right. I'm going to attack the second Zambus. Gone. <laughs> truck. Hey, Five. Got a sample. Yes. So we just put it on this? It's stacking them on the colony icon. Oh. There's so many. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we need... Oh, we need oh, there are 15 well, more. There are tokens, aren't yeah, there? Yeah, isn't there a token? Uh, I thought it read tokens, but maybe not. Cause, cause I they, don't think there are tokens. They, they okay. said that there were four like, zombies on, the, on this objective, so it just says accumulate oh, four, zombies. four zombies. I think it's way funnier if we just stack mm -hmm. a bunch of zombies no, inside no, of our right. house. Yeah, so it's 16 total we need, we now have one. Okay. Oh, now I need to roll the exposure dice again. Oh, I take a wound. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, got boy. Ouchy. I got ouched. Ow. Okay, I'm 33% the way dead, but I'm going to do my part, and I'm going to drive my <laughs> semi me, me. over this third Zambus. <laughs> Six, the, nice. add it to the pile. Nice. The doctor is dismayed by the presence of tire marks on all the Zambus. Oh, please don't get... Oh, oh, it's another... That's uh, another... That's, that's more too, blood. There's so much of my blood outside of my body. Indeed. Oh, no. <laughs> could be worse. It could be way worse. Of course, um, while it's tempting to go to the police station and start searching, if whoever does that rolls an exposure die and gets a bite, things will get tragic. Yes, that would be well, bad. Um, it's still really good to use the thing. It is. Yeah, I mean, we can't live in fear of that or we're not going to do anything. No, so, absolutely not. if I do go there, I might have some cars to help remove wounds. I like it. I like that idea. Um, real quick, though, uh, that begs a question that I have no doubt will come up later. You can't do things in reaction to other things. If I'm about to die, I can't suddenly pop the pills that cure this you have to pre first wound. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's no, there's no doing things in response to actions in order to save your life or anything like that, okay. or to kill someone else for that matter. There are no, there are no zombie trap cards. No, exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe that's it for my turn. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, so the Crossroads card yep. never came up. So nope. that just goes to the bottom. It was oh, pretty unlikely. What was it, anyway? Uh, yeah, they have a The player the controls game. Brian, and Brian is at the colony. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> that's the way it goes. But now I've got one for this guy. <laughs> that's not going to happen. So anyway, he could draw this as a driver. I, I'm also going it's to true. contribute to... And how much do we need over here? Uh, we need four yes. in here, half the number who are left here at the end of the turn. Yes. Say, we can talk, can we, you can talk about that, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, we're really behind. I may just, like, is there any reason I would want to just stat dash food cards on my person if we're cooperating? Well, once they're tokens, you can't use them on this, for right. example. Yes, right? that is correct. That's one reason to keep one. Yeah. Or more than one. So I may put another one on there, then. Just to okay. make sure that makes good sense. Things are good. 
because I don't actually know how many food carts everybody else has. And then I'll move my police lady to the police zone to search for gun. Exposure. Uh, but I have to roll for her exposure. Welcome to so Gun Town. Please don't kill me. Oh, oh good. I don't kill you. Thank you. Um, You're a good friend. <laughs> so, um, so let's see. I can uh, use any use cards freely, right? Yes. All right. Then I will use a medicine to remove a wound from a person who's with I you. love aspirin. <laughs> Thanks for healing my blood. And then I love the police. <laughs> Uh, Come, use, let's rob this station together. I use this action dice in order to uh, search. Yes, so you draw and, the top card. Uh, oh. I can also perform, uh, one, I can also look at and keep one additional card when searching here. Excellent. So I assume I look at this first thing. Let me double check what uh, you were asking about hand limits, because that's a good question. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is an event, it says. How does that work? Uh, I'm sorry? Does it happen? Yes, if you... If I pull a card that's an event? Yeah, if you play it, it just happens, then we remove it from the game when it's done. Um, but do you play it immediately, or do you get to wait and play it when you want? You right, yeah. have to play it on your turn, I'm pretty sure. Okay, but it's not like with the minute you draw it, you bought it back. No, you don't have to play it right away. In theory, I could like, make noise to look for a different card. Oh, I see. Well, you have to decide whether or not you're going to keep it before you're allowed to use it, because it's not technically in your hand yet. Right. Uh... What is the issue with noise anyway, other than it prevents you from doing this once it's at full? Ah, oh, okay. so at the end of the turn, we are going to um, add zombies. Based on noise. We add zombies normally, but you add a, you have a chance to add additional zombies for uh, each noise token. So I'm just going to go ahead and reveal like what's going on here. So okay. I'll probably do this, but I just want to make sure. This will basically give me another survivor, but it also adds a helpless survivor. Is that worth the exchange? You don't get more actions for having more survivors by the sound of things. You get more oh. options. No, you get you get another die. Oh, you get another die? For you get a die for each survivor. Non-helpless, I assume. Correct, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, well, the helpless ones don't belong to anyone. Yeah. Yeah. So, so does that seem like a fair exchange? Hmm. It raises our food requirement by half permanently, because they I assume helpless ones never leave the colony. And they're just they're eating. I think it's interesting that you should do it. Yeah, yeah. I can get, it's at least interesting. Let's do it because it's interesting, and this doesn't go on the file or whatever. Right, so, Instead, so by the letter of the law, you're ending your search action by adding oh. that to your hand. Oh, well, actually I get to search for two things. Okay, so then continue searching. Yes. And I'll search for a second thing. It's the exact same card. Wow, excellent. So, <laughs> so I don't think we want to add that many people. Not right away, but no. you can keep it in your hand. Um, or wait, how many cards can you keep? I can only Does, keep two. Oh, well, you only have two. Right, but I don't know if I want to like, add that many people immediately. Well, you don't, want, you don't have to do it immediately. You could play one now and then hold on to the other one when, we were all, de when we're all dead. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. So I will just take all of these humans, yes. and then I'll play one of them. Perfect. Welcome, humans. Uh, read it out loud again. Okay. Um, two outsiders. Uh, and then add the, add the top card of the survivor deck to your following and place their matching standee in the colony, but also add one helpless survivor to the colony. Excellent. Okay, let's find out who your new man is. Or lady. Who's that Pokemon? It's... the dog! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I hope the dog doesn't die. There he is. Oh, no. oh, that's so good. <laughs> he has a cape. His name is Sparky. <laughs> Do I add the die now? You don't add the die right. until I you... I assume you're immediately making the dog your group leader, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Excellent. Where, where, are the, where, are the, where are the helpless ones? That's a good question. Uh, are they... You can see an obvious source. Okay, then they're probably still in the box. I'll get them. Okay. What is the dog's special ability? He can't... Uh, he doesn't spread the bite. Oh, excellent. <laughs> when, uh, whenever you're rolling for exposure, if you roll a bite, treat it as a wound. Nice. Essentially, what I'm reading that as is the the virus or whatever doesn't infect dogs. He has that the makes lowest good sense. influence in the game. That doesn't make sense. He's a dog. <laughs> you should have the highest. He's really good at both uh, searching and fighting. He's got a two search. He's, he's such a good dog. I mean, dogs are good. <laughs> so what? You you point him at the police station and say, "Go find a gun," and he comes back with a gun. No. Yeah. Bloodhound. The only character I've seen who's better than him is the fortune teller. Well, <laughs> it's searching. I mean, that's the way it is <laughs> here in Dogtown. <laughs> well. He's actually a better fighter than the ninja, if I recall. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, <laughs> should we send him out to go find food? I would definitely move him somewhere well, that's not the place where we need the food. Well, actually, yeah, since he, d he can't roll bites, he can't infect other people if he crowds a place, but then having two of your characters at the same place doesn't seem like it helps anything anyway. Uh, it depends. Maybe you want to trade items back and forth. Oh, that's um, true. But I'm guessing that because I can still move people, right? Yeah, or, absolutely. Like, it, yeah, he can even use his ability this turn. You just don't get another dice. Yeah. So does it move each survivor once, or just one of your survivors? Once? Each of your survivors oh. can move once. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay. All right. So yeah. I contributed to the actual zombie murder yet? Uh, so. <laughs> well, not only would that be a good idea, it would be a good idea not to have more food demands than right. we've already inflicted upon ourselves. So I guess I'll send. <laughs> our, friend, our, our friend, our friend Sparky, to the grocery store. Kibbles and bits. Excellent. Kibbles and bits. <laughs> cool. Nice. Right. Good. So, technically, first you want to move one of your action die over to represent the killing of a Zambus. Yes. Um, then, because of our special conditions, roll this dice to see if the dog collects zombie uh, chips. Oh my god! Oh, he well, did, he it did didn't, not. although you very impressively <laughs> knocked over some Zambus. And then I roll for exposure. Wait, why do you. No, you already rolled. Oh. For attacking the zombie. Yes. Once for moving, once for attacking the zombie. Oh, I thought he didn't... Uh, that's right. Okay, yes. good, good, yeah. good. He okay. He, he no, okay, him. no. For some reason, I thought that your ability was Rod's ability, that he didn't oh. get exposure when he goes there. Unfortunately, and when I saw you roll the die, I thought you were preemptively rolling it for the zombie. So I'm no. sorry about that. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I froze our dog. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> That's not he gets a wound right now, right? And then well, that is a wound, that, basically. That, so that's okay. that, he gets a blue one, and a blue one means you get a red additional one next turn. Now, can I use my medicine to remove that? Absolutely. Then I'm going to remove that immediately. Yes. yes. He had like that little like barrel of rum. Around his head. <laughs> oh wait, the blue converts into a wound. Converts no, it adds. Wounds. It adds two wounds. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, because it, it turns into two wounds. wounds. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's what I thought. Yeah. And then I don't know. I, I'm going to leave. Well, I can't do that this turn. I guess I'm trying to figure out if it's worth it to move the other guy also. But there's no other act. This die doesn't let me do any other actions um, that are helpful. I will say that not having to feed him would be okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. It's like the worst nightmare for a dog. Eating. But, not, not eating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like if I move him, then like, I guess he can't empty trash yet, but whatever. Oh, that's true. But we don't have... Oh, and you'd be exposing him. I keep forgetting you have to roll for exposure for mm -hmm. moving, so... Yeah, yeah don't, don't feel obliged to send someone out into the cold because I don't want to give him beans. We have three, yeah. That's that's what a, clean, a cleaning does, is remove three of those cards. Cleaning that. removes three, and if it hits ten, yeah. a sack of ten... And I have an ability that let me clean even more than that. So uh, what I'll, okay. here I'll, I'll do, I'll just burn my other food to put more food in the food. Oh, that's and, a good idea. It covers uh, us for four people. And that puts more trash in the trash. And then I'll use my last die to empty all the trash. Excellent. So those just get removed from the game so we can stick them over there. Yes. Great. All right. A good turn. Yep. Here, have this knife. Okay. And you draw a card for me. I draw a control um, It's the player control specific character name. I mean, it's not. Okay. Yep. No. Okay. Uh, right. unless, unless you draw a magic card. It seems like they could really suck or maybe really be good. Right. <laughs> my for just to start things off, my fortune teller will immediately use her special ability. Once per round, you may look What at does it look like when she does that? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Once per round, you may look at the top two cards of the crisis deck and place them back in any order. Then you may say exactly two words to all players about the crisis cards. Nothing more. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Please use an entranced tone of voice. Just say next turn. <laughs> Help bad. <laughs> Quit game. <laughs> yes? It's not related to what I'm doing, but we should have probably read the bottom of that card, which is kind of important. Optional, add two additional food cards to gain one morale for preventing the crisis. 
Well, yeah. For preventing the crisis. Yeah, so Brandon. <laughs> I noticed a similar thing on one of these cards. All right, all right. Anyway, sorry. Well, it's not too late. words are hammer nails okay interesting interesting okay. and that was her special action which doesn't take a die or anything so how does moving and attracting things here work does that, do I have to be like in one of these spots to so keep? no those count as entrances to this colony okay so I'm already here basically yes exactly so I can attract zombies and then beat them over the head and don't have to go outside to do it. Yeah. Okay. Might be a useful way for getting some things killed. I mean, it will cost us food, but on the other hand... Yep, that's true. So first question for Lobos. Will you be able to contribute any yeah. food at all to this if we're trying to overkill it? Yeah. Good. Wait, overkill it how much, though? Uh, by two, it sounded like. So oh, that's the optional thing? Yeah, four will clear it with no penalty to us. Six will clear it and I can, we'll get a morale boost. I can add two pending our necessity for food supply. Okay, well, then I will go ahead and help on both fronts. I will add one to this and leaving that two for you, which should be easy because I'm also going to use one. Just put some beans in here immediately. I love beans. Do we, not, do we want to... Talk specifics about cards we have, or avoid that. I think we want to avoid that. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, okay. Yeah, uh, I wasn't aware. No worries. I and mean, you can give general indications, of course. But oh, I didn't put this at the bottom. Okay. Oh, right. It's still right. his turn. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he can still draw the character. Yeah. Okay. So, does it sound like a reasonable plan to beat on the windows and kill some zombies dumb enough to come? Uh, sure. Do we have a specific location we would like to be able to search freely that well, I can lure them from? Because this probably shouldn't overflow, right? Well, there's no... Is there a penalty to it overflowing if no one's there? Oh, I don't know. Because uh, they'd be there and then you would go and... I know. Mm, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. I could see the hospital being a useful place to go because it has medicine. And we seem to take damage That's pretty good. frequently. It's also something you absolutely never find at the police station, which makes it attractive. <coughs> Hang on. Um, we are being overrun. <laughs> I don't know what we need fuel for, but that could be worth. It could be know. these cards or nothing else. <coughs> yeah. If there are no empty entrances at the entrance, the zombie would be placed. Uh, nope. Never mind. Uh, entrance is overrun. Remove that zombie. Kill the survivor of the colony with the lowest influence value. If there are only helpless survivors of the colony, kill a helpless survivor. If there are no survivors of the colony, remove that zombie that would have been placed without further effect every time the survivor is killed, including a helpless survivor, to decrease the morale by one. Um, when adding zombies to non-colony locations, follow all these same rules, except there is only one entrance to place the zombies in. So all the zombies are placed in spaces at that entrance. So if there are no survivors there, it does not matter. Excellent. Okay, in that case, the only thing we need to do is clear out places that are interesting to us. Does the hospital sound interesting to us as a secondary search location? I love the hospital. I am interested in this. All right. So, uh, James will kind of beat on the windows a little bit and shout uh, disturbing things to the zombies about their mental states. <laughs> and then, kind of, in perhaps a reversal of the roles you'd expect, the fortune teller will charge outside and start stabbing them. Okay. So they both get attracted here. Actually, yeah. Oh, they, they, different yes. entrances? They do get placed at different entrances. So when they get placed here at the colony, they get placed in order of one, two, three, okay. four, five, what? six. In terms of fighting one, them from two. the colony, that doesn't actually matter. It doesn't matter for these purposes, no. Yeah, okay. Actually, I'll have the psychiatrist do the first fight since I've got a six, which is something he can use. So he fights and kills one. He totally fails to collect a sample, unfortunately. Now he has to... Exposure thing. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. If I'm exposed in the colony, what's going to happen? You might, you know, oh. spread it to every survivor. Oh, should have thought of that earlier. Uh, a lot oh, earlier. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the fortune teller is 
dead. Well, that was the psychiatrist. I the said psychiatrist it. is so dead. Wait, you get exposed when fighting of the colony? Oh, well, it was a zombie. Yes, absolutely. Oh, when fighting. So I guess colony. there was yeah. a downside to that that I didn't <laughs> think of until I'd already done it. Right. Yes, <laughs> inviting a zombie to the colony did have that effect. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's good. Well, he's dead. The one survivor is killed, and the bite effect spreads. When a survivor is killed as a result of a bite roll. The bite spreads to the survivor with the lowest influence that shares the location with the bitten survivor. Each time a bite spreads, the uh, player that controls the survivor is spread to must choose from the following options. Who is has the lowest... That's this guy. Oh, Ten? Or fourteen, rather? Right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he actually he would... Oh, no, actually he could have buffered it. He could. Or can he, he do that? Because he can't, he can't be bitten. If he gets a bite, it's just a wound. But it depends on, actually yes. it depends on how these rules work. Yeah. So right force plum crazy mall Santa. So um, the the psychiatrist gets super dead and yep. then turns and lunges at the forest plum. Honestly, he might have done that even if he hadn't. <laughs> here, so here here is what Forrest must decide: either he can die, he can just soak it, and that stops the spread, or he can choose to take on the newly turned zombie, which means you kill it. But you have to roll the exposure die again. <clears throat> uh, There's only yeah. one tooth on the this quest. Likelihood of a tooth die. again, right? <laughs> That's not. Plus, <laughs> plus, I have the next least influential person, so I would only be inconveniencing myself. Unless you rolled it again. And he's good at combat. Oh wait. Oh, it's so good. I don't have to spend an action to do it, or no. Like this is a yeah. choice um, Santa is making right yeah, now. Yeah, let's let's go, Santa. Do it. Oh, before we do that, um, someone has died. Which I means, already did that. Okay. Oh. So we're down to five morale. Okay. Okay, yes. okay. So, so he's you... choosing to fight the Zambus. Yep. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay. He, he takes a he wound. Takes a wound. Okay. But it stopped it. It does stop. Okay. Hey, we killed the zombie. Don't we get to roll that die? Uh, Wait. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh-oh. On a blank result, the survivor that the bite effect spread to is not killed and the bite effect stops spreading. Uh-oh. On any other result, Uh-oh. Oh. the survivor that the bite effect spread to is killed, and the bite effect spreads again. Oh, <laughs> we misread that. Before yeah, we absolutely though. did. The bite effect will continue to spread until a player either chooses option one, rolls a blank after choosing option two, or there are It's no actually more about fifty-fifty. Yes, yeah, no, I absolutely, I got that completely wrong. Interesting. So, well, I, knowing that it's fifty-fifty, do you want to change and re-roll yeah, it or I'll, re-roll it? Um. Uh, I think I want to re-roll it. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. It's about 50-50. 50-50. Is this, is this... Yeah, it's not very flat, unfortunately. <coughs> not yet. We'll, gonna, we'll wear it down eventually. It's going to go crazy-ish. Oh, my God. This game is so good. Okay. Yeah! Oh, well. Go Mall right. Santa. Did you say Time he, paradox. Did you say he still takes his bite, or no? No, you're, no. you're done now. He's just, okay. No, just, just fine. Right. Oh, so do you sad. draw another survivor, like, immediately when you go down to one? No. When? When does that happen? That happens if you lose all your survivors. Oh, all of them. Okay. Yes. Well, well, I'm sorry about your psychiatrist. That's okay. It helped with the food problem. <laughs> That's the positive. Outlook. It did help with the food problem. Oh, yeah, but does one. he get to roll upon killing a zombie? It wasn't killing a zombie. It was a different <sighs> mechanic, I think. I don't know, though. That sounds really good. <laughs> I think you should let him it's do a it. Zombie. I think we should absolutely let him do it. Sure. Okay. okay. All right. So roll a die. Uh, Those are free. Yeah. yeah! Add oh, the psychiatrist yeah. to the stack. <laughs> yeah! Hey, awesome. we, we've just discovered a new means of winning the game. Indeed. Oh dear. Well, uh, well uh, I have oh, one action very left. good. I don't know if I want to actually do anything with it, because that was enough of a disaster. Uh, that was well, very that good. Well, zombie is in the house now. It is. There yeah, is a zombie at our doors. I'm sorry? Do they do stuff from there? They'll bite people. Only if it overflows, though, right? It, well, I mean, yeah. If it overflows, it kills people. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the fortune teller's ability is actually really good. I don't know if I want to risk her on this. No, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just sit on that one action. Okay. Although I know I would definitely like to get that, get another survivor thing at some point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can. How do we trade our? Um, same 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 oh, thing. do you have a do you have a character here? I have a character there. Then you could just trade the card oh. right now. Oh, oh yeah, I can oh. Okay, okay. I'll go ahead and use it. Nice. Then. <laughs> All right, add the top card of the survivor deck to use as a survivor deck. Mm-hmm. Who's your new character? My new character is Brian Lee, the mayor. The mayor. 
Excellent, excellent. But you also get another... So oh, five you made the food problem worse. No, I can't. It went back to normal. <laughs> Alright. I need to get Brian Lee out of the thing, though. Yeah, here well, you go. I'll work on that. And that. What is Brian Lee's special ability? Uh, Once per round, you may increase out of the an game. unused yes. action die you control by one. Okay, uh, not I bad. him immediately. Good work. He's okay oh. at fighting and a little worse at shooting, uh, a little worse at searching, rather, but he's amazingly influential. He will be the last person wow. to die to influence checks. With he's too handsome to die early in the year. Okay. Okay, I think leadership. you get a crossroads card for Lobos Jr. Okay. Okay, this one actually could happen. Okay. I can't wait. I can't wait, too. Um. Okay. Well, I think I'll take, uh... <laughs> I, like the, I like the synergy idea of putting these two in the same place and then removing him from the game just to <laughs> raise morale by one, just because nobody likes him. No, um, I think I'll send John Price to the hospital. Okay. Uh, which he has to do an exposure roll for. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no bodies, no bodies. It's uh nothing. Good. Good. Okay. Uh not bad for a man with no truck. That's right. That's right. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. I could search for stuff, give it to you and you can take it back in your truck. I could I could, I could do just, that. I could just fish out all the guns. We can put all the guns in your truck. It's true, I could do this. Alright, I think I'm gonna kill the zombo. Okay. Ah. It's there. And then let me do the roll to see ah, if okay. we Zombie limbo. Have the. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. Sample success. Twenty-five percent the way there. Then we need to see if I die. I probably should have searched before I died, maybe. But. Ooh, frostbite. frostbite. Okay. But you're in the hospital. You'll hopefully find. Oh yeah. Hopefully you can find some medicine. Um. Actually, I have medicine, so I'm going to use that. Perfect. Okay. Uh, oh, waste. Drugs. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you responsibly take it and back to the colonies and just leaving in the. <laughs> or no, he like does a sweet like football. Oh, we got four there. Toss okay. of the empty bottle. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Adding our food. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you remember to add two? Oops, there's another one person too. Yeah, I did it. Awesome. Um, okay, so that's cool. Um, well, you're two sided, of course. Yes. Well, it's actually yeah, convenient. You can turn the blue one to red once it's done its thing, so you remember. That it's yes, that's true. Uh, okay, so searching requires okay three plus. Boom! I'm gonna search. <clears throat> this is the exact same. <laughs> add a add a survivor card. Add two survivors. Oh, or whatever. Nice. One worthless. Um, okay. Uh, gotcha. I think I'll just leave him at that. Um, searching more okay, it would require more dice, and then also require me to do the the listen or the ear thing. So you could spend another die to do another search, which means you look at the top one. Uh -huh. If you want to keep looking at more, you can spend noise tokens to look but at more for one action dice, basically. Yes. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. And then. I've got one that old man could search with. <clears throat> Remember when that psychiatrist died? <laughs> I think I'm going to take old man out to the grocery store. <laughs> put, put, put him down. <laughs> <laughs> Just take care of him, Sparky. Run. <laughs> and what's he doing? Is he fighting a zam? Oh, no, he's, he's going. going to the grocery store. Of course. Um, nothing. Nothing. All right. Okay. Then, does searching require exposure, or no? It does not, okay, no. that's good. Uh, and in which case, he's going to search. And... Get the another one of those exact same cards. Um, let's see. We've got, what, five people? Um, oh, hold on. Okay. I think that's... Did that trigger or no? Uh, no, never triggered. Okay. It could have. Well, it's time for the colony phase. First of all, we pay food. Remove one food token from the food supply for every two survivors in the colony rounded up. Remember that helpless survivors count as survivors for this purpose. 
Survivors at locations other than the colony do not count. We have exactly enough food. Oh, thank God. We have to feed the zombies? We don't. The zombies are dead. Doubly so. They're double dead. Okay. On Nickelodeon. Uh, check waste. For every ten cards rounded down. Decrease morale by one. No problem here. Resolve the crisis. Shuffle the cards that were added face down to the crisis during the player turns phase. Reveal them one at a time. Each item card added as a symbol matching a symbol in the present section of the crisis is worth one point. Who's the traitor? It was me. I did it. Food. 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 Three. Food. Passing. Food. Five. Bonus. Passing Six. Is mm -hmm. to six we nice. go. Excellent. Nice. And overpopulation is <clears throat> weird. If the... Do -do 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 -do, after resolving the crisis, remove all cards added to the crisis from the game. Food. Add zombies. Add one zombie to the colony for every two survivors, including helpless survivors, present there rounded up. So grab three zombies from the zombie bag. They can they can smell the living. Yeah, that's true. When you okay. add it to two, three, four. So even though what I did was originally a bad idea, we're kind of probably going to have to do it again. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, or we could go somewhere else and attract them there. That's true. Hmm. Uh, one at a time, remove each noise token at a location and roll an action die for each. Do we have any of those? Nope. Okay. You're a quiet bunch. Good, good behaved boys. Check main objective. Have we achieved the main objective yet? Uh, not quite. 25% right. the way there. Not bad. Move the round marker. Move it down one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pass the first player token. The first player passes the first player token to the player on the right. We begin with a new crisis. Okay. Oh, I guess you get to read the crisis. It's true. I'm the crisis now. <laughs> Shaking things up. We need um, a tool icon equal to the number of non-exiled players. Tool icon is like a wrench and a hammer. Um, optional, add two additional wrench and hammer cards to gain one morale for preventing the crisis. So I guess we've got a, an arts and crafts project to work on. Um, wrench and hammer can be found at school and police station and grocery store most prominently. Less prominently at the hospital and library. But not particularly common at any of them. No, no, unfortunately mm. not. So good news, you can search almost everywhere. Bad news, yes. we might just... Yeah, Come up. We're going to have to shake things up. It's Make true. Speaking of that, let's uh, total up your... Uh, Dice. Get an extra die. Can yep. you carry them over from a previous turn? No, you no, re-roll them. Okay. Always re-roll. Oh, right. Yep. So we each have three. You have four. Decent roll. I rolled like a baby. I rolled a roll rolled, that a baby. I, I rolled would make. a lot more than a baby. <laughs> three, three, <laughs> three, 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 one. What a big baby we are. <laughs> okay, uh, Lobos, you begin. Okay. Uh, I think you take that. Yep. Yeah. Checking. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes. All right. Everyone. C -c -c Crossroads. Everyone knows the signs, but Rod finds it strange to experience them firsthand. <laughs> the pain in his left arm isn't sharp so much as it's icy, and it radiates from his fingers all the way into his chest. <laughs> Gonna be okay, he gasps to the others before collapsing. The ghost of truck stop meals past swims past his eyes, and even as he fights for his life, the cynic in him figures it's better to die from mac and cheese than zombies. Oh no! Uh, option one. Yes. I saw a defibr defibrillator at the hospital the last time we uh, last time we were there. We're going to have to carry him. Place two survivors you control and Rod at the hospital. This does not count as a move. Roll for exposure on Rod and both of those survivors twice. <laughs> oh my god. If there is not enough room at the hospital to do this, you may place any survivors currently at the hospital back at the colony. This does not count as a move. Option two, kill Rod. <laughs> oh boy, I think you guys have to... I'm unconscious. I mean, I mean you I, have another survivor. I do have a survivor. Um, <coughs> oh boy. Is this the choice for for him? Uh, uh, me? No, the whole team has to make this choice. I can't team. do it by myself. Well, it says place two survivors you control. It actually might be only the Oh, lowest. wait. Whoa. <laughs> oh, goodness. Place two survivors you I've control. I've got one and there. Rod. 
Um, but two exposure rolls for each, yeah. all three of you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't have the requisite number to do that. No, no, no. You as in him. I'll oh, assume. it's it's Lobos. It's, Excuse yeah, it's me. His turn. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot about this. Yeah, yeah you, it targets no. whoever has Rod. Yes. But, you have to decide what to do with my fat mac and cheese ass. I have to admit I'm a little conflicted because on the one hand the truck is a really awesome ability, but six so exposure, is Rod. We could all die. Six exposure rolls is horrifying. To it's not bad. On the on one end, yes. Uh, is this considered the beginning of my turn still? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean we're reading that card, so yes. Because yeah. Forest Plum at the beginning of your turn you can remove him. So but if he gets like really hurt, but, but then you I can't guess, meet the requirement. <laughs> I'm saying if he oh. gets really damaged, then I could just like. Yeah, as long no, as he doesn't, well, as long as he doesn't die. Yeah. As long as he's alive. You can, <laughs> but remember, you can't do things in reaction to other things. Not in reaction, but right. Which, which, if he dies, he can't do it. But if he gets down to like one hit point, he could do it then because he's still alive after it takes place. After right? everything goes through. I think I that's. I think that's uh, abusing the definition of at the beginning of the turn. I think Wait, that's is, oh, it has to be at the beginning. Oh, the beginning no, of the turn. Yeah. no, that's not. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. never mind. I okay. didn't realize it was restricted to beginning no. of the turn. You could do that now to conveniently not have two survivors. <laughs> oh, what two survivors? Who? Me? <laughs> uh, we don't get anything good if it, we get the thing. I live. He lives, and we don't lose morale for him dying. Yeah, that's true. Um, of course, if all three of you go there and die, we lose a lot more. It's than fine. Them. We'll be fine. You don't have any wounds. You're so good at exposure. Let's do it. All yeah, right. all right. Yeah. So, so sure. old man. Wait. Like, yeah, how does that work again? It said uh, this doesn't count as exposure, but... Oh, yeah, you can move them for free. So okay. you move all of them there. Roll for exposure on Rod and both of the survivors two times each. Yeah. yeah. Here goes Rod. Yeah. Let's see if he survives the trip. Okay. Well, so, so far, far, so good. Ugh. Okay, frostbite. All right. He's not he dead. can make it. I'm not dead. He can Maybe. make it. Um, okay. Here right. is old man Mall Santa. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. Mm. A frostbite. You're in the right place for all this frostbite. Yeah, that's oh. true. It's true. It's just cold. All right, and then here's John Prince, the student. Yeah. That's <laughs> 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 the problem. Well. Okay, he's dead. All right. Rip. My leader. So yeah, okay, he just dies. Yeah, Wait, like, does anybody have a? <laughs> I deducted one point for morale for him. Okay. Um. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do I get revived anyway? Uh. You don't die. All right. Okay. Okay. So, but well, we saw you. Oh well, no, he's dead. He doesn't have to roll. Because all die, all so. we needed both people was to carry uh, me to, yeah. to the hospital. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Because no one else knows how to drive a truck. You've succeeded at that, but you still have to resolve this whole fight thing. Yes. yes. So, so Rod should die. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, wait. You have the lowest influence. Good, oh, yeah, damn it! Good in, night, sweet prince. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. How does that work? You, you, you rescue the truck driver. The student turns into a zombie. The truck driver shoves Mall Santa into the zombie because he's the lowest influence. Well, they need me more than you, boy. They wouldn't send you out here to save me. Basically. What do you think? Oh my god, that's so good. Um, I think you should roll. You should roll? Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, your, your statistics are, are technically pretty good. They're pretty... 50-50, exactly. Pretty... <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, go Mall Santa. Yeah! Oh, nice! All right. Hey, roll to see if we yeah, can put absolutely. the student on the stack. <laughs> Come on, student. Okay. Oh, re-roll. Okay. Uh, that here, that went under my foots. All right. No. no. Okay. Sorry. You spared. You spared the indignity of being on the zombie kill pile. Right. Okay. Well, well, thanks for saving my life. The good news is I didn't take any of your actions, and you're already at a useful place to search for medicines, yes. so you can fix some of this. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, find me a bandage. Yep. Yeah. Um. It's gonna be ironic if he does it. I, I'm not too worried. Oh my gosh! I feel like we could just fill up on helpless survivors and. We could. We could absolutely do that. Just hiding in drawers. Oh, don't forget the crisis and all this excitement. If you have anything to contribute I didn't to even know that was a logo in the game. Oh. Uh, See, I... Uh, how, I how are we... The alternative, because I thought... Oh, well. I just thought we, you meant, like, build um, barricades. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will make my contribution to the... Oh, yeah, that's what your cryptic clue meant. What's the, what's the, uh, what's the count we need? 
Four? Uh, we need four to pass, six for a morale boost. Yeah. Okay. Oh, two more. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Well, so hopefully... We're in good shape. I can at least pass us now with that help. Okay. Uh... That's fine if we just go other places. Mm, the hospital, I mean, you need we need medicine, and the hospital can also potentially give food and tools, so yeah. it's not a bad place to search. Yeah. No, I'm definitely going to search. Um, yeah. Uh, so, the only problem, okay, I look like I get two sixes. <laughs> search. You okay? That is just such a good game, that's all. <laughs> oh my god. I get another one. Is it just a cards. tooth? <laughs> <laughs> no. Zombie it's in a box. Three of these add people. Oh my god. Shuffle this poor thing. Um, well, they're different decks yeah, too, true. so it's like yeah. not even. Yeah. Wow. I think it could be fair to say they could be in need of a shuffle, actually. Okay, we'll shuffle each one the next time we draw from them. Yes, that's a good Rather call. Rather than doing all of it right now. Yeah. I'm going to search. Uh, maybe I should make noise once. Okay, I'll reach no Yeah, that's a good idea. That's yeah. a good idea. There's no right. zombies. There. So that card isn't technically in your hand yet. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what the search works. Okay, cool. So we add a noise. I wouldn't mind another dude, but I don't <laughs> want to keep just this because they don't go anywhere, right? Nope. They're just a problem. They're just babies. <laughs> okay, I've shuffled it at least a little bit now. Okay. Zoop. <laughs> Please not be babies. Babies? It's not babies. Um, uh, okay. Interesting. Okay. I'll keep that. Okay. Um, are we, that goes I, in the bottom of the deck. Are we keeping cards hidden? I don't know how much information we're putting. We should keep the details of what it is that we have in our hands. Like, literally not... We shouldn't literally say, oh, I have yeah. some fuel. Yeah. But okay. like, oh, I, I can help you with that, uh -huh. or that kind of thing. Okay. Um, There's good practice. So we want to betray each other later. I think I yes. will yes. search again. Okay. <clears throat> um, 400 babies. <laughs> what about me and my blue collar? <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I have that's... to say. Of all the like dumb sentences I've heard on the internet, the one that still makes me like smile when I hear it in my head to this day is "man t-shirt, man a t-shirt." <laughs> <laughs> um. Remember to send you a thing about Gatorade. I'll. No, I guess I shouldn't. Okay, I'm gonna use my last action to do a barricade. Interesting. Right, since cool. there's a listen symbol thing. Okay. Sound okay. That's cool. it. I okay. Think. No oh, wait. Nope. <laughs> that's my knife. Okay. So I do this for you. Yes. Um, do I die of mac and Cheetos? Do we have? I have Rod and Edward. No. Okay. Okay. It's possible, but. Okay. First, I'll use some medicine to get rid of my frostbite. Good idea. Here, have some frostbite. Oh. Now I can make one of those battlefield games. I sure was hungry. Um, I will... First, I'm gonna search at the hospital. Hmm. Babies. Um. I will... Make more noise. Barricades there. Well, these three will fill up first. Oh. <laughs> the barricade will save uh, survivors there eventually, but it doesn't prevent the zombies see unless you fully barricaded. Okay. Then I'm gonna. Can you, can you heal me? <laughs> Ooh. Um. Maybe. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's fine. Um, I will search again. Here's what I'll do. I'll search again. Um, and I'll keep this. And then I'll spend the medicine that I just used to heal you. Hey. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yay. Yeah. Are we still? Yeah. Um, 
say that. Then I'm gonna play some babies. Babies. <laughs> yep. Oh no! Um, I add. So many I add another baby to the colony. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we can starve once and it'll be all right, <laughs> right? Mm. Right? Mm. Yeah, of course. If only we had some sort of wizard turtle to come and take. I don't have that, but I do have a ninja. <laughs> yeah. Mike Cho, ninja. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't roll for exposure. He doesn't. He's fighting such zombies. a good zombo. So he can clear out this nonsense and actually make my original strategy work pretty well. Yes, actually, he's super good at that. So he immediately spawns in a <laughs> puff of smoke, and I spend my measly little two to fight a zombo. All right. I will roll. That's he's crooked. Cocked. That's yeah. crooked. He's going to eat so much food. That's <laughs> the same result, and it's a failure. Oh, Mike. Oh, that's super good. Is the what is Polo. happening? What just happened? Polo Park. Polo. He Polo. Rude. Um. <laughs> this gets removed. Remove these babies. The babies are gone. <laughs> oh, goodbye, babies. Oh, okay. I didn't read a crossroads. Or wait, no, the crossroads go back the other way. Never mind. Yeah. Right. Crossroads goes the opposite that. direction. Should be able to knock them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got yours. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Then... Oh, boy. I'm gonna... Spend... A fuel... Waste pile. Play this card when moving a survivor you control. Do not roll for exposure for that move. I will move him to the grocery store. <laughs> Sorry, there's bugs. I don't know why. Um, and then I'll end my turn. Okay. Um, now you get his, you get his crossroads card. Crossroads. Is nice. This is really hmm. Cool. Okay. So you should use your dog <laughs> to find a gun. <laughs> Well, actually, if I want to find a gun, I should use her. Oh, that's so, true. Um, she actually knows her way around the police station. So I'm going to use one of these action dice to have her search for guns. Oh, hey, it's another survivor without a baby. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh we were going to uh, shuffle before we drew. Oh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll do it next time. Yeah, okay, we'll, that's we'll fine, that's fine. It's not the, the but dreaded no, babies. But... <laughs> But, but we do. We were looking for a gun, so. So but, yeah, yeah. We should shuffle. We should shuffle. Yeah. Away. That's also. I don't need more people. <laughs> you Every, don't. You got a dog. Literally, everyone else needs more people. You can trade people, though. Yeah. I could, uh, yeah, yeah. But it, the, I, I think that it's a smarter to shuffle. Do you know if these can be positive? Oops. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna investigate what my dog thinks is going on. Hello. Hello. Alright. Okay, I have shuffled. Back to the search for gun. Hey, it's a gun! A gun? What do guns do anyway? Uh, so I'm going to. Alright. So I'm. This is an. What, how does equip items work? So you just play it and then you attach it to your. Your man. Oh, I do search for two things because I'm special like that. So that's a good thing to have. So I'm going to keep both of these so I don't need to, to ruffle around yet. <laughs> so uh, I'm actually going to play both of these things. Okay. okay. Um, one of these is food to add a food to the food pile. Nice. Because that seems like a good idea. It does. And then I'm going to equip our police dispatcher with this sniper rifle. Nice. What? And it just says. Once per round, you may kill one zombie at any location. Do not roll for exposure. This is not an attack. That's wow. so good. That's amazing. <laughs> um, we should all go to the police station. Yeah, it's hyper right. Just all snipe from wherever. Yeah, it's definitely. Can we snipe? What well, probably what will happen is we'll go there, but we'll turn into a zombie on the way. Yeah. yeah. Can we snipe um, useless so survivors? Can I, so just once per my turn, can I just shoot a zombie? Yes. yes. So I'm going to shoot one of the colony that seems most critical. Okay. Roll a... Uh, Die. 
Uh, well, I don't actually use. Oh, I roll no, yeah, so yeah, for samples. For samples. Right. You can send someone else to get the sample. Yeah. Shoot him, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. and he just lands in the pot. Five out of sixteen. Mm -hmm. C -c -c crossroads. Uh -oh. If the player uses an ability of a gun after resolving <laughs> that ability. <laughs> Triggered your trap card. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you ugly freak. You snarl at the zombie whose head you just blew off. Playing more where that came from. You reach down to your belt for another clip, only to remember you were on your last one. Or not, you say to yourself. Looking at the bloody ruin of the zombie, you wish you'd shown a little more restraint. <laughs> um, sniper rifle. So you have two options. You can either place the used weapon in the waste pile. Or you can hunt down more ammunition. Move all action dice from your unused action dice pool to your used action dice pool. That's not worth it. No. I have so many good dice. That's really unfortunate. This gun is really nice. But no. No. Waste pile is at seven, by the way. Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to use one of these dies to remove five things from to the sweep files. up this <laughs> empty sniper <laughs> rifle that someone so carelessly threw from the police, <laughs> police station <laughs> into the colony the over there so anyway those are removed from game oh um, there was only one bullet for it i guess that's an unsolvable problem that sucks look we, we've all played player yeah. right now in sniper <laughs> rifle <laughs> okay uh and then I'm going to move one of these dice over here for a, a dog search at the grocery store <laughs> to try and look for some tools. Uh, you find a dog. Pumpo. Oh, actually, no, there's still tools at the other place, so I actually probably should have searched there. Well, I have another die, I can do it again, right? Anyway. And food at the grocery store might also be good to have. Yeah, might, we, might, we might want to. Yes. You only have one in there for like six, seven people right now. Mm. And I'm the only other player left with a turn. I, no, you, you, no, I went, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you did go, so it's just cool. you and me. Mm-hmm. Hope you find some food. Or everyone like leaves. It looks like I'm gonna have to chill. Wait. I hate that we have to care for the morale of the useless people. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. Cool. That's zombie movies, though. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> hey, we found some food. Is it dog food? Probably. Eh. Um, and then I might as well I keep searching. Yeah. Because searching is helpful. Maybe you'll find another gun. That you can throw away after firing. Um, I, did, I did find another gun. <laughs> um, oh, good. Uh, so I found a tool icon, maybe. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I found something I'm going to put there. And I'm going to equip this pistol. Um, but this actually... Oh, does it have... Hang on. Do you have to equip it to the person who finds it? Probably. Uh, but then they can probably give it to other people later. That's a good question, is the thing. Equip <laughs> it to the dog. <laughs> Sniper dog would be pretty sweet, though. I assume I can't just hand this off to someone who's kind of creepy. Different square. Creepy, though. I'm, uh, for some reason, Definitely not that I pictured a square. A dog just whispering kills. Um... <laughs> A uh, card with an equip ability is not placed in the waste pile, but instead a player may equip it to any survivor they control. Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah. Any survivor I control. Any survivor. <laughs> you, oh. It's like Sif. It's like modern Bang. Sif. Yes. There, I don't see any rules here. I can't hey, imagine. He's a stun dog. I'm sure he's <laughs> a fire This isn't his first time around a gun. Yeah, he's handled guns Because before. once per round, when a survivor performs an attack, not on any square, it's not a sniper gun. Yep. Oh, but that is a crossroads still in effect? I assume no. it's got to be only one. No, it got removed from the game. All right. Okay, good. Then the dog's going to shoot him. Polo, you Fantastic. shot a Zambus. Roll a science check to see if your dog collects samples properly. Uh, <laughs> but you know, he's a it's, dog. It's fitting. The rolls keep... Well, his mouth is full. Yeah. With a gun. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> oh, good. Rolls it somehow. I don't know. Oh, Dog the Bounty Hunter. That's exactly who this is. <laughs> so... Wow, what a good turn you've had. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Uh, no. I guess you get a you crossroads get for me. The crossroads. <sighs> yeah. Hold on, let's see. If a survivor or a colony. Do you have anyone at the colony? No, well, I have these two at the colony. Okay. If a, ew, okay. I think you just read this. If, yeah. Um, this one says, it's Christmas. If a survivor the player controls is at the colony, 
I was talking to a couple of the other people, and well, we think tomorrow night might be Christmas. Maybe it's a stupid thing to hold on to, but I think if people could use a distraction, I mean, uh, <laughs> what if we made dinner for everyone? Like a oh, real no. dinner, I mean. No. Every player with one or more survivors at the colony must vote with a thumbs up or thumbs okay. down. The option with the most votes takes effect. Now, do I read these options? Yes. Um, thumbs up option. Spend five food to gain one morale. If Forest Plum is in play and isn't exiled, the player that, uh, can, that controls Forest Plum may draw up to four cards from the grocery store deck. <laughs> he must then reveal them and give them each to another player of his choice. Thumbs down option, nothing happens. Unfortunately, we don't have five food, so I think we're... I think that, yeah, I don't think the motion can pass. Yeah. All right, so the way this works is there are a lot of cards that have thumbs up or down, but we go one, two, three. Okay. One, two... Oh. Again. Do you want me to repeat the rules? Oh. Did you guys not get like you confused by you confused me by counting as an example? I knew how to count, and so I assumed it was the real count, not an example of how to count. One, two, three. Oh. Darn. I, I, if we had the food <laughs> to yeah, spend, yeah, I would yeah, absolutely yeah, vote. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, it, 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 we now know that it actually gets removed from the game. Okay. Oh. We now know that it being Christmas totally right. matters. Well, we now know that we're experiencing the worst Christmas. Okay. Well, there's three cards in the pile. I absolutely have to finish this on the last player, so I will put one down. I don't have enough to get us to the super threshold, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Then Talia will look at the misfortunes to come. Uh, what, what, what did the, the weave hold for us? Immense hunger. Oh, oh we're already there. Uh, I had a nice dream about mac and cheese. <laughs> Someone lucky. And, the, and then a sure. shocking awakening. Jeez. And then a man died. Alright. Well, and Santa killed him. Let's get this started. My other guy says once per round you can bump a die up one that you control. Yup. So I'll bump one of my threes to a four. Alright. Hey, nice bump. Mm -hmm. Bump it. Okay. Well, reluctantly I think I have to send him outside if only to get one less mouth to feed in this place. <laughs> so, sorry Mr. Mayor, you're going, some, you're going places. Uh, let's see. I don't want to really send him anywhere with people because we've had enough white shenanigans for one day, I think. Uh, of the places that don't have people, the gas station seems most promising for finding food. Sure. And also weapons. Mm-hmm. All right. Just be careful, because it'll be over on if you don't murder while you're there. Oh, he'll, he'll do some murdering. He's a little. Unless he... And he okay. gets frostbitten. That's a great start to the proceedings. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then he will punch a Zambo. Ah! Oh, over here. So one's dying. We'll see where it's actually going. Actually goes. Nice. Research pile, six out of sixteen. And then okay. exposure. Nice. Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. He has a four left, which he will use to do a search. Mm -hmm. I've already given that one a little bit of a shake. Excellent. Shake and a stir. What do we got? Babies. Mm. Mm. Well. Yes. It's not anything we need, but it's also not bad. Of course, if I make noise at this location, he runs the risk of being killed outright, because yes. I potentially could do another copy. Although I can barricade, so I should be okay, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll make some noise to make one more attempt at this. Very well. And this is gone once I've made noise, right? No, that... Oh, I, can, I can choose between the two? You can choose between okay. the two, yes. Cool. make some more noise. Uh, I will keep that. Okay. The one. other one goes to the bottom of the deck. Okay, that goes I'll to take the care of it. Then. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then I heard rumor of a barricade. Yeah, we're going to spend this other die for barricade. Okay. And I still might do one thing that doesn't require to die. Who's here with Talia? Trash man, mop man, meth man, trash man. 
<clears throat> All of whom are, of course, weak to Metal Blade. Yeah, this is... Metal Blade. I have a good pointy object, but I'm trying to find a good person to give this particular pointy object to. Uh, Santa, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, it's not very good for him. Oh. It's very strange, actually. I don't know. How about my ninja? <laughs> uh, oddly enough, it's not good for... It's good. It's so weird. Is it like a dog-specific blade? No, but basically... It, <laughs> well, you were a good boy. I studied the blade. <laughs> it makes you really good at fighting, but it doesn't protect you from the results of fighting. So oh. if you're already good at fighting, it doesn't do anything really for you, but... On the other hand, if you're bad at fighting, making you good at fighting and just getting you exposed doesn't seem like a great deal. Well, the truck driver is pretty average at fighting. Okay, well, he's not there, but I can give it to you and you can make the arrangements. With yes, the that makes sense. You okay. can give it to Meth Man. Yep. Thank you. The owner of a very difficult-to-use item. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you. And I will also spend a food card to put a food in the bank. Yeah, food. Which will protect us from hunger for this turn. Beautiful. Really. Well done. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. That means it's time once more for the colony phase. Uh, we have exactly enough food, so we remove each of those. Check waste. We have a little bit of waste. Four. Four. Okay, serious. Okay. Good thing I have this mop. Resolve the, yes, actually. Resolve the crisis, please. Okay, the crisis. Uh, picking things up. Uh, how many tools do we have? We have one, Junk. two, Junk. three, Junk. four junk, okay. or four tools. Then we pass. Okay. All five of those cards get removed from the game. Add Zambies. We add three more to the colony. And then we do noise tokens. Lois, do you want to roll for the noise? Sure. What okay. happens? So first I'm going to remove one from the gas station. Okay. If you get a three or lower, we add a zombie there. Okay. Okay. Barricade but we have a barricade there on the only available spot, which means we remove it instead. But we'll do the same thing now for the hospital. Nope. Okay. And then for the next one. Okay. Do you do all of them at once? We'll do all of okay. them right. one by one. Yeah. Okay, then we get another, we get a zombie there. Oh, we don't break down the barricade. We have no, them. they go to the, Barricades like, the last resort. Yeah. Yes. Like, if, think of it, they're... Zombies well, are liquid. They go to the... <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> that's exactly correct. Zombies are liquid. Um, oh, goodness. Uh, 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 what do we do next? We do check main objective. Have we won the main objective yet? Not no. quite. How many do we have? We have a grand total of... Six out of sixteen. Mm. Not as much progress this time around, but yeah, uh, we've had some problems, and we're gonna have more. We move the round tracker down. Uh, hmm. Pass the first player token. Okay, that uh, goes to Brandon. Oh wait, did you have it the first last time? I thought Lobos had it, and then you had it, and then no, no, no it's her wait, first player it gets passed first. to the right. Pass also. it to. So we, I had it. So we you had it. Started then with I you, then I. Wait, started no, no, with you. You had it. Then, then it went to the right to me. Yeah. So me. give it to Herbie. <laughs> it's me. All right. It was me never before. Hmm. Thanks, thanks, McMahon. Um, someone draw a crossroads card. For me, that would be you. Yes. It's me. Uh, oh, this one. We, don't we need? We need to reveal crisis. Oh, crisis. Yes, we crisis roll, first. Excuse me. Nice too. Uh, you oh, yes. the, or who reads it? I read one of these before. That Lobos, means... why don't you read the crisis? Everything goes in... Raiders. Uh, food equal to number of non-exiled players. Okay. Fail. If able, each non-exiled player must randomly remove one card in their hand from the game and lose one morale. Cool. Optional, add two additional food cards to gain one morale. Okay. If you need some foods. Oh. Pink. Yeah, we need a little food. All right. Um, adjust your number of action die as appropriate. Oh, I gained one thanks to my ninja. Oh, right, yes. Oh, and I need to lose one, right? Yep. Okay. Bye. Stinky. Indeed. Herbie, take it away. All right. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot contribute it to the crisis at this time. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, do the frostbites activate? Oh, yes, if you had a frostbite, then you get a wound. So. Oh, just oh, that's me. But we've, so. Yes, it's just you. you cured mine. All right. Objective and our current lack of food. Sure, right. a crossroads card? Oh, yeah. Crossroads card. Okay, uh, it might happen. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. I have really crappy die for searching, but I do have someone who can actually manage the search with all three. Okay. It's just I have to send the best place to send her. Place, the best places to send her already have people. Except for the school, maybe. The school can actually produce food, apparently, at its top level. Would the, does the dog absorb bite spreading? Mm, no, it wouldn't help him at all. Once If someone else triggers it, that doesn't help him at all, because yeah. any result other than blank gets you killed once that's gotten uh, started. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I pretty much would have to send her to the school, but she could search twice and make a barricade and be relatively safe. Oh, well that helps a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. That actually. Oh, I was just going to use it to cook math. <laughs> and that actually will help me choose better because now I can go to the grocery store which has medicine and food, which is a lot better. Thank you. You're welcome. Beep beep. Using some fuel to go there without causing problems. Yeah, that's good. Is that, that's the last slot in there? Yep. Okay. I stab her. And then, since I'm there with all my I dice. Get your hands. We will see about seeing things. So she will search once. You find a dog. Have we shuffled that deck before? We have shuffled this okay. one. Ooh. Keeping. Not bad. I will search again. Hmm. Interesting. Not food, but interesting. Let me think about it. Interesting, and... but isn't food. What could it be? <laughs> There's only one zombie here, and we kind of need food. I'll put it away for now. So give me a noisy token, please. Oh, I, I guess I'm not putting it away yet. Not yet. Not really. Okay. Because it actually, if the second card is also not food, I'll probably keep this one. Yeah, I'll keep this one. So this one is the one that I'm goes to the keep. bottom of the deck. Okay. And I mean, you're already right there. So. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping that's what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Opening good for that. And then I will search one more time. But since it's only one icon, that seems like a really yeah, no, poor use yeah. of it. Yep. And the rest of my stuff is not particularly relevant at this time, other than to get rid of one wound. She's not on that door. Cool. Okay. That is everything. Hmm. Hmm. I think it, the knife goes. To the oh, right. this way. Yes. Wait, does it? Yeah. 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 Knife goes to the right for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're very confused. Yeah. Or is it? Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not. No, how no? You're doing right. it. no, you're absolutely correct. All right. First player goes right. Next player the, goes yes. right. Yes. Okay. The, okay. the turn the turn order rotates, but okay. but the turn play order is the, the order you'd expect it to be. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, 
Well, continue. I have to do this. Just go about your business. Okay, it's just how board games work. I got you. Um, I'm going to use uh, an adrenaline <laughs> shot to change one of my results to whatever I want. Nice. I'm just going to make it so that he can search more. I'm going to use fuel to safe travel. Oh, wait. No, I'm not because the grocery store is full now. But somewhere. School's got a lot of food. School has a lot of food. Oh, yeah, is that the some, number one? Yeah, it's number ah. one. School's out. Well, for, we have all the school lunch for I don't zombies. even know what books are for, but we might need them anyway, so whatever. For food. For burning. Um, yes, yeah. we can use the books for fuel for my truck. Then I'm going to search there. I don't know if it's been shuffled. No, I don't no, think it has. That one, okay. that one hasn't, but I have other duties. Okay, yeah. What do you think is going on? With, uh, with Herbie. I don't know. Maybe it's I can't laugh or something. I don't know. I've never heard you laugh. I don't laugh. I don't. I'm I have so no laugh box. I'm so Cry. Bad. I'm so bad for sure. That's okay. I'm crying right now. Okay. <clears throat> Let's, uh, oh. I'll put it there. <laughs> Proper bloke 789 says, Lois patched out his laughing module ages ago. Obsolete. Too much memory. Um, kind, of a, kind of a resource hog. Exactly. It eats up 99% of my CPU sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Okay. One day you're going to come in here and Flo's going to be wearing shoes and you're just going to fall over. <laughs> that remind me I have a story to tell you. About. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna use my other one to search. Okay. I'm going to. If I make noise, uh, barring like event cards and stuff, the max zombie that could be added is one, right? One yes, more noise. But it, if it needs another zombie and it's full, then it'll overflow. Which would kill anyone that's there. Anyone that's there. And it's, yeah, three or four right now. Yeah, okay. Um, I'd load it up. I'm going to search. Yeah. Again, so. yeah. Let me see. Number two. Uh, you use any... Oh, you used your last time. Though. That's right. I forgot our dog was holding a gun. Actually, I was doing this wrong. What are you doing, Irby? I'm following the okay. instructions. Okay, uh, putting this one on the bottom there. Better than I was up until the re recently. Oh, yeah, you patched the... the I wasn't sure if me asking um, what you were doing was the trigger. That's it. Is your turn over? Yes. And my observation is also over. Is it removed or bottom of the deck? Because the bottom of the deck. Man, that's really unfortunate. Oh, no, that card is so bad. <laughs> I guess it'll Let's maybe it'll come up in another I'm game. I'm sure they don't. I'm sure that mechanic is not limited to a single card. It's too cool not to do it okay. multiple okay. times. Well, there's only one Christmas, as we know. Yeah, this is more generally applicable than. Okay. Not. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. I um. I do this for you, right? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe you'll. Sit and sit and spin in okay. the manner of. For the record, I did not actually read with the options. As soon as I read with the condition, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't know what it actually would have done either. Honestly. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, the first thing my ninja will do is flip out and kick a zombie. Excellent. And collect samples. Yes. Success. Ooh, nice. Okay. Which zombie? Yeah. That one. Yeah. Great. All right. Seven out of sixteen. Yep. Um, the next thing is... By the way, we have no food on the crisis at halfway down the ground. <laughs> I'm aware... Okay. Um, my trucker will get up from his seat and kill a zombie. Okay. No. No. Not a sample. 
Where, where was he at? Unless... No, never mind. Okay, where was he at? Oh, there. Okay. And let's just guys. I get exposed. Wound. Oh, All right. <clears throat> okay. I will search at the grocery store. Store, they seem to have been well stocked on everything but food. <laughs> Seems to be more of a Lowe's than a, <laughs> than a GB. Well, it's a small town living in a lonely world. Um, And then I'll search again. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll keep that. Do we want to give up on the <laughs> yes. crisis? I think, I think we, so. I think well, probably that's a good idea. Yeah, giving up on the crisis. And honestly, all you have to do is move one of these characters out of here and we have enough. I forgot to equip my switchblade to my trucker, but I used its mechanics, so definitely that's what I meant to do. Yeah, that's fine. Um, <coughs> bless you. Thank you. I will... I'm going to use medicine to remove one of the wounds from my trucker. Adding to the waste pile. It's a little big. Oh, not for long, though. <sighs> Move. Lower our food requirement by one. But. Mm. I'm helping it really. Okay. Nothing. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Okay. Good chair. Thanks. I'm done. Alright. So, assuming I'm not trying to get four food on my own, I assume we're just going to pump home. Well, remember the fortune teller's uh We, we don't want to hold on to food instead. Is it your turn right now? It is now my answer. turn. Yes. If Brandon is in play and is not exiled, place Brandon at the grocery store. Uh, this does not count as a move. Uh, if, there, if the grocery store is... I think, oh, we should just, to, I think we should just move him there. I thought I said you have to move somebody else out. Oh, okay. I thought that was a rule. Maybe not. Oh, um, wait, there's space there, isn't there? Oh, is there? No, that's right. The dog. Nope, that's a dog. But I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll swap him for a dog. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <sighs> you shake your head at dinner. You shake your head at the deer's carcass you let slide off the counter to the ground. It'll need to ble bleach the floor. Brandon's in charge of sanitation, but he's on a grocery run, and you aren't about to leave that deer's blood for a couple hours. It's really dark in his room. Did he paint over the windows? Turning on your flashlight, you see shelves with the cleaning supplies and the glass jars. Good God, what is he doing in here? You shine your lights in the glasses and recoil what you see. Clippings. Use hygiene products and hair. Oh God, the hair. None of it is Brandon's. Oh boy. Look, I just wanted to live a quiet life. Oh goodness. I don't know if any of the, well, the Christmas one sounded kind of good. Um, ooh. What do we got? Option one, you beat up Brandon and force him to clean it all out. Place one wound on him and place him back at the colony. This does not count as a move. Option two, add the last ten non-survivor and non-event cards that have been removed from the game to the waste pile. <laughs> I think you can take the hit. <laughs> I'm going to be yeah. beat up. My I'm gonna beat myself up and send him back and go back home. Polo, no. <laughs> Polo's disgusted. Well. Wow. Wow. I guess we all learned some things about the Mop Man. All right. 
Yeah, well, let's use his mop ability because this is getting bad. <laughs> so we take five things and remove them from the game. Oh, yeah. I mean, we know where they're going. Yeah. <laughs> right into the jars. Uh, uh, not using an action. <laughs> Mighty gum dog will strike down the dog. <laughs> Excellent. Here. <laughs> We're on four or five. Four, I think, because somebody died. Uh, or, oh, it was I'm five. pretty sure no, it was five. Yeah, five. we bumped it back up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. be careful right. of those. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. <clears throat> Do I need to, to move someone back somewhere now? Um, oh, shoot. I should have done that differently. I already rolled, so I guess it counts. Dude, um, it's definitely a critical issue. Um, it would be less critical if someone left. <laughs> oh right, we've got we've got too many people there. Okay, so yeah. I'll, I'll I'll send dog to school. Um, <laughs> ow. He trips on the way to school. Or shoots himself with the guns. <laughs> far, far more likely. And yet manages to make it to school. What a trooper! So I'm gonna. Use what a one, good dog. Use one to search. Yep. That's. I can't eat this. <laughs> um, although, actually, you know what? What? I'm going to equip... The, uh, you, there's no limit to things you can equip as long as they're different slots, right? Yes. Or different ideas, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm giving the dog the map to the school. <laughs> wow. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Um, and then... Now he's going to search again, and once per round, when performing a search at the school, you may look and keep one additional card. Ooh, look and keep. Nice. That's nice. awesome. All right. What I'm a good gonna, dog. I'm going to look and keep this card. Um, keep going. All right. I'm going to look at and keep this card. Oh, wait. Hang on a minute. Yes. I'm going to lose a card at the end of this turn. Why four? Because of the Raiders. Failing the Raiders. Raiders. Oh, yeah. So... Well, I mean, I have cards I can get rid of that are less important, and you have... Oh, I don't have a dude at the... I have two show. cards that are nice. <laughs> for But I could use them right now. You could use them right now. But for instance, why don't... Because food stays in the food thing if it's in the food thing, right? Yes. Because mm -hmm. there's a food too here. Nice. nice. Excellent. Um, Makes me feel a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just not sure if I should... Well, I'm gonna, well, we all lose something. Right? We all lose one card at random, yeah. So I'm oh, man, I should have used my card. I'm just going to go ahead and put this down and fill this up with food. That's good. Because <laughs> I'm not going to... That'll make, that'll make the next thing coming up. Now better. the question is... Man, I wish I had thought of that, because I could use my thing. It would be really good, but I didn't. I also made that mistake. I'm probably going to lose the thing that I kept from the grocery store. I mean, I've got another card it might be instead, but whoops. Oh, we knew, we learned. Yep. And then... We can't cheat at this game like we did at Sherlock. Mm. We got one more die, so I should probably search with her because just to get the double search. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Because there's still a chance of it being something. Maybe you'll you find can, a sniper. You can always equip something if it's yummy. You don't have to get stuck with it just mm. to lose it. Neither of these are. Uh, you can make noise. Are critical. So yeah, I'm gonna make some noise. Jump around. Uh, get jiggy with it. All right, I'm gonna lose one of them. That's the annoying part. Yeah. Well, I put this back on the bottom. And I'm gonna keep these two. Oh. <laughs> you can trade, and since you have doggy there, you can trade with those guys if somebody else has more cards and might buffer it from loss of. From well, loss. it's from my hand. It's what we lose due to Raiders. Right, but if someone has yeah. like a bigger hand, I have be like to... four. Yeah. So like, if you trade it to me, then. Yeah, if you traded Mall Santa, it's much less likely to get lost. All right, then you're going to want to hang on to this. Okay. You said that like a future person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that was the end of your turn, right? Yeah, I just saw that. I've, I've seen better. <laughs> That's the end of the round, then. <clears throat> okay, then. Pay food. It's time to pay some food. That's two. Easy That's enough. two. Waste is at seven, because I checked it just a second ago, so no problems there. Okay. Resolve crisis. Resolve crisis. We have failed at the crisis. Uh, we lose one morale. 
and then we each randomly remove one card in our hand from the game. I kept a food three. Oh, but that's indeed. I'm probably gonna lose something even better, but that's all right. I have so even. many beans. I lose a hammer. Yep. A hammer. I, I let you double at barricade. Good. I lose babies. <laughs> you gave the raiders the babies. babies. <laughs> well, I guess given the hammer and three food, they're probably okay with that. They think it's a, a good deal, but they'll learn in time when that baby becomes hungry. And they're, un <laughs> and they're unable to kill it. And someone else had any? Oh, you had no cards in your hand? I No, I had one. I okay, you already did that. Did you? It, it was a few. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we only add two zombies to the colony. Hmm. All right. Okay, well, I've got one here. We're going to need an extra one. Okay. And then, Lobos, do you want to roll for noise? You got one at the school? School. Nope. Okay. Got one at the grocery store. Grocery store. Nope. Two at the grocery store. Grocery store. Yep. Yep. That one gets a Zamba. And one at the police station. Yeah. Yep. So it gets a Zamba. Okay. Okay. The only rookie cop, Leon S. Kennedy, were here. Yes. Um, sadly, we left him in Eldritch Horror. <laughs> we did. <laughs> uh, checkmate objective. Uh, not quite. We're at 8 of 16. Half of there. Jeez. Whoa. Move the round tracker. This is our second to last, last round. Ooh. Wow. Um, pass the first player token. I think I'm nice now? Yes. Yeah. No, it, uh, yeah, yeah, you went you first. Had okay. You had it. Now last. it becomes Brandon. Okay, okay. I got mm -hmm. it. I got it. <clears throat> All right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. New crisis. I think it's Herbie's time. To, to, it's time to shine. Waste not. Need food equal to number of non exiled players. Fail. Take all food cards that were removed from the game and place them into the waste pile. Lose one morale. Hmm. Add two additional food cards to gain one morale. Okay. Roll your dice. Ugh. A little better than normal. That's when the psycho Double psychiatrist comes in handy. Reroll any number. Yeah. I'm going to use at least one with these damn two though. Yeah, well, that's fair. And, uh, uh, take it away. Okay. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do... If a survivor the, out the player controls is at the colony. Yep. Outsiders. I need everyone at the gate right now. There's a flatbed that just pulled up loaded with refugees. <laughs> Every player with one or more survivors at the colony must vote with a thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> well... Yeah. Uh, thumbs up option. We don't have much, but if your people are willing to pull their own weight, we can give the, you a home. For the winner, at least. After that, you're on your own. Each player draws one survivor from the survivor deck and adds it to their following. Each player also adds one helpless survivor to the colony. Thumbs down. I'm sorry, we just can't take on anymore. You're going to have to keep moving. Their faces suggest they've heard those words too many times before. They look downward in acceptance, and soon the truck is driving away. Three days later, you find the truck collapsed on the side of the road. People are gone, but blood is caked on the road. Nothing happens. So, so it's only I'm the only one with the survivor at the colony, but I am interested in the opinion. Do you guys want more people right now? Because the babies. We will have, uh, they'll all spawn here is the first problem, which means they all have to find somewhere to go. Or they but have we need to, to kill zombies. Anyway. I feel like after a long enough time, a baby should grow into a useful <laughs> survivor. That's what I think. I mean, we'll, it'll be four more food requirement that we either have to get people out of the way of or we have to deal with. And two of it, we can't do anything other than deal with because it's going to be babies. <laughs> so, considering we have two rounds left, we can probably survive moving everybody we out and babies We actually there. have a lot of food at the moment, yeah. sort of. Here's the thing. Um, adding four more survivors will give us four more dice next time. We which might give us the... What we need to do is kill zombies. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, I, honestly, I think we should completely eschew everything else for the sake of killing zombies. Also, yeah. Let's we'll take them. Okay, well... So, interestingly, I kind of would rather this gave you the option of like voting without necessarily knowing what the impact was. 
but it's also a very mechanically strategic game. So yeah. I feel like we can't really vote without knowing that. that yeah, it's, in that case, okay. we add four babies. I will add four babies. Draw your new survivor. Honestly, the decisions are interesting enough where knowing them isn't really hurting them. Like the sure. one with Rod. I mean, that I was have, I have drawn great. A Janet Taylor, the nurse. Okay. One per round when performing a search for the hospital, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I have drawn, oops. Uh, Alexis Gray, the librarian. Once per round, when performing a search at the library, look at and keep one additional card. Nice. But she's <coughs> terrible at fighting and searching. I've got Maria Lopez, the teacher. Uh, once per round, you may kill one zombie at the school. Cool. Uh, for a die. Do not roll for exposure. Nice. Jenny Clark, the waitress. Uh, anywhere, once per round, when performing a search, you may look at three additional cards. Wow. That's okay. I would prefer a zombie killer, but... Yeah, we didn't really get anywhere with that. But we'll get an additional oh, yeah, die yeah. next turn. Free, right. free kill at the school. That's true. So we can search there more, too. Yes. Okay. They spawn. Okay, oh. now you can actually take your turn. Right. Um, so one of these... Oh, I put them all into use. That's not accurate. So one of these I'm going to do to empty out the, the junk, because there's... Okay. There's going to be junk. Yeah. And there will be junk. We don't want to just, like, tank more out here at the end. Yep. Um, also has some ones, so one of the ones is good for that. Um, also, I have a free zombie murder using this pistol. So I'm going <laughs> to take out one of these guys. <laughs> okay, sorry. sorry about that bug. And guess what? I'm paranoid about bugs. I'm sorry about I that. I don't know why. Okay. Well, I guess it's probably mosquitoes. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Are you trying to kill the mosquito with the <laughs> small D6? Yeah, it's like a gnat. I, oh, I just freaked out. Like, I'm sorry. Or a gnat. I'm good. Hey, he Mark. collected it for science. Nine so, out of sixteen. All right. All right. So that's good. Do we want to search for anything, or should we oh. just go full like maximum murder mode? I think we should go murder maximum mode. Murder, maximum murder mode. So I will use this two. It's equal to or greater than, or does it have to be greater than? Equal, equal to, to or greater. All right. Then we can use that to engage dog mode and actually bite a guy. Okay. Well, we don't know that it goes on the stack. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No worries. I uh, threw that up. It's all right. Hey, no, no you did. You did such a good job. Ooh. All right. Uh oh. Nice. nice. Uh, safe dog is safe. And then, let's see. Well, I have a, a perfect here. Um, yep. I'll perfect. use it to kill. So I'll have. Oh, we don't really want people over there to be doing it when they can do it out here, because they could the bite could spread. Yeah. So instead, I'll have. Police dispatch lady attack this guy, take him out. Okay. Um, no oh, science man. though, so he is just gone back to the back to the evil jar. <coughs> um, then I have this one left. Does she roll for exposure? Uh, yes, she does. Mm, beat. It's looking pretty cold. Um, there's one die. What can I do with the one? Um, I can barricade something. You could attract two zombies. I could also attract two zombies. But there's a lot of people there already. We, we don't like the idea of fighting there with people who can actually get bitten. Well, but you could attract them to the police station. Yeah. Oh, no, that's true. Yeah, well, that hospital. Wouldn't be as bad an idea. Something. Yeah. She's frostbitten, though. I don't really know. But, well, whatever. We may need it. Exactly. So, uh, in that case, I will just go ahead and attract. <clears throat> like the the one well no they move from a location to oh. yeah in and that case, the real advantage is that that means you have more zombies to kill without the risk of having to expose yourself in order to move yep. yeah so I'll, I'll have her use a tract um, now where do I want to pull them from because we have plenty of space here but we don't want to fight them here you know you're right so I will pull you over here okay That's all I wrote. Okay. Okay. Me turn. Let's see. Oh, Is Gabriel Diaz here? I haven't heard the name. Isn't that Reaper? That's Reaper? really close. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> haven't heard it. Okay. Well, seems like. I think that is. I don't, yeah, I'm trying to remember what the last name. Oh, hey, I can increase the die I control by one. I will increase this four to a three, so that and it's two to a three, rather, so that you can fight things. Reyes. Reyes. 
Reyes Reaper. That's I mean, his name. He has no particular advantage at it, but he's at the gas station with two zombies by himself. He seems like a great candidate for fighting things. Absolutely. Well, I think everyone should be fighting things at this point. All right, I will spend a three. So we're killing a zombie, potentially for science. You yes, for science. Yeah. All right, that's five, ten, eleven. And now i got to roll the yep. mean die. Again. <laughs> and he's immediately the reverse mayor. <laughs> well, he loses morale and he dies. The mayor of the dead. And there's no not even anyone there to kill him. It's true. Did, did we get samples for that one or no? We did get one sample. I don't know exactly how that worked, but yeah. it worked out. <laughs> okay, well, I have two characters left and they're going to have to move if they want to help. The only one who can actually kill both is Talia. I don't think we even care what the top card of this is anymore. We're kind of over that. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I will go ahead and... Uh, where is she at? Oh, there's already a zombie where she's at. Well, all right. Well, there's someone else there, too. A ninja. I am not concerned about my life. Oh, <laughs> well, we should be, but all right. Well, or you could move to the gas station. Yeah, but I might just die without even killing anything then. Librarians. But probably not. <laughs> probably not. The librarian's five plus. You could actually kill one zombo with this with the six. Okay. The exposure. But she's where is she? She's here. In okay. The yeah, and getting her out of the colony would be good for food reasons anyway. All right, going on a walk, librarian. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're safe. Then she will use the six to punch a zombie, and then for science. Failed. Alright, another exposure roll. Okay. Nice. Clear. So, other options are kill Talia with a small, I mean, kill zombie. <laughs> kill zombie with a small risk of Talia killing herself and or the ninja. Or search. Kill a zombie. Alright, I'll spend the four to have her kill a zombie. Potentially for science. In this world, it's kill or Christmas. Well, not getting any love on that die roll. Alright. Okay. See? That's all my action. I knew you could do it. And everything, and yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Did anyone have my crossroads card? Yep. I did. Okay. It was for a different it was for a Oh, yeah. Okay. Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. It's your turn. I get one. It wasn't time to read. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm going to. Add a food uh, to here. Um, I'm going to <laughs> spend uh, my. Oh, right, I didn't move my new character out. I'm sorry. Oh, my you lowest dice there. to kill one zombie at the school and not roll for exposure. Science. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's not the, where's the science die? Any D6 hey, will be. We've used them all up by adding survivors. Blast! All right. Uh, no. Uh, Ooh, okay. We've got to uh, understand science better, guys. We do. Um, Dog gets it. Oh. Uh, that was Maria Lopez. Okay. He. I mean, have you seen the dog? He's so cute with his little science kit. That's a gun. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, <laughs> in the zombie apocalypse, a gun is actually a pretty important part of any science kit. I mean. Yeah. It's kind of the first step to collecting sample, make it stop moving and groaning and biting. Okay, Maria Lopez is going to move to the gas station. Okay. Uh, roll for exposure, don't die. Okay, well, okay. wound, no problem. Someone no shoots problem. her on the way there. Thank you. I'll use uh, <laughs> uh, beginner's martial arts to not perform, uh, to not roll exposure when attacking. Mm-hmm. Kill zombie. Okay. Um, Oh my god, yes. 12 out of 16. Yes. 12 out of 16. Um, that's all of these. Um, and I kind of. I, so I added an extra food. I was kind of thinking about getting another follower just for the last turn so we can just like. Yeah, rush. go for it. Um, you do check the main objective after food costs, though. 
just as the main objective after. We oh, wait until after we right, right. again. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to get a new follower now, and that'll give me more dice. And the next turn, I'll just sacrifice him from the morale. Oh, and no. then I'll have more yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah. that ability is we, actually. We knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He was so, born right. to die. Baby and what was fuck? new follower. <laughs> Sophie Robinson, the pilot. Once per round, you may look at the top card of a single location item's deck. After you look at the card, place it back on top of that item deck. So I can check anywhere for stuff. Cool. Um, can you do that this see. turn? I think so. Yeah, once per round. You should get me some pills. You want to see here? Is that yeah. Um, uh, that would be helpful for us. It's not pills. Uh, I need pills, though. But it's helpful for survival. <laughs> no, I need, no. I need pills. Uh, pills here. You don't have pills in your hand, do you? I don't. Sorry. Okay. No, nothing of that sort. <laughs> uh, that's it. No trigger in that? Nope, never okay. happened. All right. okay. It was entirely it possible. It was my turn, yeah. <clears throat> Thanks. Uh, do you have somebody at the colony? Nope. I... Did you get a new person? Yes, I oh, never fished prepared. out my person. Okay, yeah, I do have someone there. Okay. Don't pretend I'm the only one who's thought about this. We all have. I've seen it in your faces. These people use up all our resources but contribute nothing. Uh -oh. I'm not trying to be cruel. This sounds like me earlier. I'm not trying to be cruel. Just survive. I can't believe you're even talking about this. You know it would be murder to leave these people to the dead. Is survival worth sacrificing our own humanity? Are we no better than the monsters we hide from? Every player with one or more survivors at the colony must vote thumbs up or down. Uh, thumbs up. Remove all helpless survivor tokens in the colony from the game. Lose one morale for every two removed. Round up. No, we would lose. Thumbs down, nothing happens. Okay, that's too bad. Yeah. If only we were in better spirits. Yeah. yeah. We'd be in better spirits oh, if we actually had gets more removed. food, which we'd oh. have if we got rid of them. <laughs> Yeah, at the same time, I can see why it would take a hit if we dump seven babies out on the street. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move Jenny to the hospital. Uh, I have to roll for exposure. Super. Nothing. I'm going to search. Okay. Uh, dang it. Could we take the morale hit if we didn't have enough food this turn? What is the morale hit for not enough food? One starvation token, so one morale. Okay, if it's just one morale, then we should be fine. We're three. How many people are you moving there? Oh. Well, I'm going to eat some beans. Move my two up to a three. So greedy. Yep. <laughs> then I'm going to use it to search with Jenny at the hospital. Once per round of performing a search, you may look at three additional cards. <laughs> yes, that would have been useful. But I'm taking the pills. Then I'm going to move him back to the colony. I take one wound. Give me some blood. Thanks. Okay. Then I'm going to spend a die to attack a zombie. At the colony. Okay. I'm going to attack this one. But I'm then going to use an action die once per round when performing an attack with Edward. You may play a medicine card to kill three zombies instead of just one. These three? Yes. Wow. Nice. Nice. Science limbo. <laughs> no. Yes. 13. Yes. yes. 14. Wow. Nice. Ooh, boy. Mm. Okay. Where are there still zombies? <laughs> okay, I don't want to fight it at the colony if I can help it. Oh my god, he still has to roll. No, do not roll for exposure. Right, wow. good. So what's imagined there is he's taking the chemicals from inside medicine and making them into an explosive. Nice. Just nice. like in the show. <laughs> um, I will... Oh, no, actually. I'll move him back to the colony. Rolling for exposure. 
he oh, dies. Oh, that might have just ended it. Probably. It might have. Oh, that was going to be such a good idea. Well, we dropped the two. Okay, and... who has the least amount of influence? My oh. guy has 44. Yeah, 20, yeah, 20, oh, wait. Sorry. Chase 40. That's not mine. That's not mine. Okay. So. 26. Do we just take the hit, or. Oh, does that mean we lose? We would lose. We lose. We're, we're, we're going to fail the crisis. No one was able to contribute to it because you know, we're, we're rushing zombies. So, so basically, this is it. Either he rolls good, or it's over. Are you is sure? It, uh, you sure the bite yeah. happens on movement? Just it's exposure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it absolutely okay. does. Okay. We might actually already be gone. We might be gone. We don't have enough food, and we're going to fail the crisis, and we're at two. I don't know how that doesn't come out to zero, but let's resolve it anyway. Oh, and well. And see Oops. what happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're done. One done. <laughs> Wait. We're, I should have queued this up before. Hold. <sighs> No, I've been playing Arctic Sounds, but... No, I know. Uh, yeah, there you go. We lose! Good game. We got very close. I made a bad move. I made a couple of bad moves. I think attacking with ninjas is usually... No, attacking with ninjas was a good idea. Moving but... with them was the <laughs> fatal move, apparently. Well, funnily enough, I was like, oh, wait, if he fights a zombie, he doesn't have to roll for exposure. He'll be perfectly fine. So he just ran out into the streets and was immediately eaten by a zombie. <laughs> makes anyone and then feel, arrived. If makes anyone feel better, we would have won the easier version. Not only required oh, absolutely. 12 instead of 16. Yeah, I was yeah. looking at it and I was thinking, like, none of us betraying each other. We're yeah. pretty good old hands. It also gives you an extra round, which is yeah. nice. Interesting. Yep. Oh, man. Nice. All right, good game. Good game. Cool. I like this. I like yeah, this a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Um, I, I think. Love dogs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we with won Luke. because dog survived. Yeah, so, dog is very good. With his gun He's good at and his science gun. and reading maps and firing <laughs> yes. guns and not getting bitten. And I imagine um, cool. dog taking three wounds is like the alternate Sif uh, uh -huh. screen where it's, and then Sif teleported away. away. <laughs> of course. Yep. Well, good. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll investigate another goal next week. Oh, yeah. Uh, with some new characters. Maybe not Revolver Ocelot, but there's still tons of fun to be had with Santa Claus, Christmas, dogs with guns, zombie ninjas, mm -hmm. and, and science. so many babies. More babies than any of us have ever wanted. Indeed. Um, thank you for playing. Thank you all for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this uh, terrific new game. I'm really excited to be playing it. Um, we'll see you again next week for more of this on Thursday and more Dungeons & Dragons on Tuesday. Bye, Serena. Friends. Bye. Good night. Good night.